in my plastic princess slingbacks, wearing my dad's t-shirt as a dress and pulling it tight around my body and going, do you think I'm sexy? I was three and I was staying at my nan's and I woke up on Saturday morning with a raging temperature, which was quite alarming because I was quite a sickly child. My nan said, I don't like that Carly, go back to bed, I'm going to find the doctor. Back in the early 80s when you could call a doctor that you weren't registered at a surgery and they'd come straight round, make you all better with banana flavoured medicine, probably. So sure enough, an hour later, she came back into the room with the doctor and in her own words, she almost spat her tea out because while she'd been gone, I'd rummaged through her wardrobe and found her see-through blue lace negligee, <laughs> pulled it down off my shoulders and the hair was all down one side, a bit of rouge on and lipstick. I went, oh, hello, doctor. <laughs> I was seven. There's a knock on the door and I flung the door open and there stood Peter O'Toole. And he said, I, I have played Higgins all over the world and I have never seen such an enchanting Eliza. May I give you a kiss? And I said, yes. This is before hashtag me too. And he <laughs> put his arm around my waist and he kissed me on the cheek and then he did a little bow and left and I turned around and looked in the mirror and I went bloody hell I've just been snobbed by Lawrence of Arabia <laughs> I was a little bit upset. I got home, I went straight upstairs, I took the wall mirror off and put it on the floor, got undressed and I straddled it. I knew she'd walk in at that moment, but Derek, and he went, what the bloody hell are you doing? I said, nothing, I'm doing some exercises, can I have some privacy? He said, all right, but watch you don't fall down that massive hole. If you go as I promised, says the worst things <laughs> in the whole wide world and the first time I heard this we were sitting on the sofa and I had said something hilarious and he turned around to me and went come here you sexy pig said something wrong because he goes boss-eyed like that. 
we were sitting in the bedroom the other day and I, I put on a little bit of weight, just, just a tad. And I put on one of my chocolate dolly dresses with a petticoat and the belt and I put hair flower in. I turned around and I went, does this still suit me? And he went, you're going to need a bigger belt. <laughs> I mean, a statement piece. <laughs> one of my favourite all-time ones was when we were in Brighton together. Oh, look at Joe's face. Please don't say this one. And we're walking down the street. We'd, we'd, we'd gone on a big holiday, friend's holiday. We're staying in the house. We'd gone down to the beach and had a few bottles of wine in the sun and we're walking back and Don was a little bit trolled and we're walking along out in front and he went, I've decided I'm going to get another tattoo. I'm going to get Dita Von Tees on my leg. And I went, excuse me, what's wrong with having a tattoo of me on your leg? And he went, no, 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 no. I'm going to get your head on Dita's body.